so glad you could join me today. I'm Kathy Meacham. I'm uh, here to work so we can work together to learn about uh, composting. And um, I'm a horticulture specialist with the University of Missouri Extension and very happy to be here today. Um, if you don't know what horticulture is, it is the culture or the study of gardening. And so on my job, I work with people that uh, wanna learn how to do gardening, or maybe they already know how and they have um, uh, have a problem with their tomatoes. I also help people with lawns and uh, trees and insects, anything that has to do with uh, plants, I, uh, I try to help people with. Um, so today, uh, we're going to be talking about composting and it's a great topic for this time of year. Earth Day is just around the corner and what composting is, is uh, mixing of materials to create a rich uh, humus-like uh, soil that you can plant your vegetables in or other plants. So I have some of that that I made in my, uh, in my compost bin so you can see how rich that is and fluffy and light and when i went out to get this yesterday i found some squash growing so i potted them up in the compost and i'll plant them outside to see what i don't know what kind of squash it is i don't know what i threw out there so anyway i'm excited about that and there were there were actually more than one and uh, i planted up two of them so um i hope that you have the um uh, you got the material list, but if you didn't, that's okay. You can do this later. But if you do have your materials, one thing I ask for you to get is a um, a pre-cut soda bottle or water bottle. This is a, a water bottle, and I took the label off and I cut it so that it has a hinge. And what we and I have a lot of materials here for us to use. But that's what we start with and um, we start with green uh, green materials and we start with brown materials and we just call them that so we can easily remember them. the green materials are full of nitrogen and the brown materials are full of um, uh, carbon and when you mix nitrogen and carbon together they break down easily so um, they break down more rapidly so um, that's what this was this was a mixture of leaves and grass clippings and uh, vegetable scraps that I've been working on in a larger bucket um, for about a year and this is this is what I got from it and why do we compost well it's one way to reduce our waste and it also improves the soil. So you don't have to plant strictly in the compost. You can add this compost to other soil to, per, to improve the soil and to provide nutrients. And by reducing waste, we're doing something for the environment. So we're helping out like um, uh, we would want to for uh, our Earth Day celebrations. Okay, so I'm going to explain just a little bit about the green materials. There are fruit scraps, that's apple. You can see that, and peppers, onion, and you can see this pepper is already starting to decom decompose, and that's what we want. Um, I had some lettuce in the refrigerator that I've forgotten about, so we're gonna use that. I've got potato peelings. I made a stew today. There's my potato peelings. And also, you can use tea bags, coffee grounds, and I'll tear that, uh, I'll tear that open when we put that in there. Um, we can also use eggshells, and I'll crush those up when we put those in. And then um, also for my stew, I had carrots, so I peeled my carrots. All right, uh, so if you've got some potting soil, um, we'll start with that. I'm gonna stop just for a minute and get my gloves. You can use any kind of gloves you want. These are, um, you can, I meant, uh, you could use uh, some uh, plastic gloves that you might have or disposable gloves, I mean. I happen to have a lot of gardening gloves because I garden a lot. And so, and I like to wear gloves. So in the bottom of our pre-cut water or soda bottle, we're gonna add, and I think I hear my kitty. We're gonna add a little potting mix. So you could add any kind of, um, if you have some uh, potting mix 
or if you have some garden soil, but uh, you want to make sure that it's not garden soil. Um, it's pre. Uh, it's, uh, you want to make sure that it's garden soil, you know, from a bag and not from your garden because there's a really good chance you'll have weeds, weed seeds in there, and you don't want that. So anyway, I'm adding a little, little of this, and then spray bottle of water. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of water, not to soak it, just a couple squirts. Then I'm gonna add some of our, um, I'm gonna add a layer of the lettuce. And what would the lettuce be? It would be a green material full of nitrogen. I'm gonna add a little bit of the carrots. You know, it's kind of pretty too. I'm gonna add a little, uh, just a little pinch of soil. Then I'm gonna add some of the, the leaves that the mowers so nicely fucked up for me. Now I didn't spray that second layer because it's already got a lot of water in it. So I'm just gonna spray this a little bit. And if you have any fertilizer, this is a good time to add a, add a pinch of uh, fertilizer. And if you don't have any, that's okay. It's still gonna work. Fertilizer just kind of helps with the process. So there I've added a, a pinch, not, not much, a fertilizer. And I'm gonna add, now I'm gonna do more vegetables. Actually, this is fruit. Um, the ratio you wanna try for is about a third of the brown materials to about one uh, part of the fruits or vegetables. It doesn't need to be uh, exact. It's just a recommendation and it helps break it down uh, quicker if you have that, uh, that ratio kind of. So I'll throw that little piece of uh, pepper in there. I think I'll go ahead and add some eggshell. So here's my eggshells. I washed them out. You don't have to, but it uh, more chance of it smelling bad if, you've got, if they're not washed. But I want eggshells break, uh, take a while to break up. So I wanna crunch them up. I wanna uh, get them kind of fine. It's a little hard to see, but that's, and you could add more. Um, I'm not gonna add too many because it does take them longer to break up than other things. I'll go ahead and tear that bag open of the tea. And you could also just go ahead and put the paper in there too. It's not going to hurt. Uh, another material that we can use for the brown material is shredded paper. I don't have a shredder any longer, but you all might. And so what I did was just cut it up with some scissors just to give you an idea. So there we go. Another layer of the brown material. I'm going to add some of the green material full of uh, nitrogen, that would be the carrots. I'm gonna add a little potato peelings in with it. Another tea bag. And if you've got coffee grounds, that's a good thing to use. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that paper in with it. Kind of smush it down a little. Spray it. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of soil. If you have it, use it. If you don't, it's okay. Um, now I'm doing this in the house and it is a, uh, I am getting my table a little messy, but um, so you, it's possible you or your parents would want you to do this outside and you can. Uh, I'm gonna throw this apple core in there just because I wanna see. That's gonna take longer to decompose, I think, than the others because a core is just a lot harder. Uh, there's seeds in there. The seeds, we won't have enough time for the seeds to decompose probably. But I'm gonna throw that in there too because when this is, uh, when I'm done uh, and I open it up, go ahead and give it another spray for good measure, and I open this back up, I'll see if that, if that apple core um, is uh, decomposed. So I'm gonna add some more peppers. Apple peel, 
a little onion. Boy, it looks like a good salad, doesn't it? Um, more uh, uh, potato peel that I had left over. Oh, and I want to add some. Uh, want to add some grass clippings. Now the grass clippings are really a green material because um, they're so fresh and full of nitrogen. I want to top it off with a brown material. So I'm going to use the shredded leaves. Gonna give it a little spray. We're gonna tape this up. You can see that. I'm gonna take some tape. I'm gonna do this is hinged. I'm gonna tape that up. Kind of push that down in there. And if somebody is there to help you, um, that works well too. So when I put this, and if you have clear tape, that works. Um, I'm going to put this outside so it is better if it is just packing the tape. Okay. I'm going to take my permanent marker and I'm going to mark it this date, which is the 10th, I believe. So I'm going to do 4, 10, 20. I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to put it outside in the sun and I'm going to uh, roll it around every day when I go out and get a little exercise. I'm going to uh, uh, kick it around the yard maybe and keep it mixed up. I'm not going to kick it too hard. I don't want to, I don't want the tape to pop off, but this is probably going to take about a month to get broken down to something like this. Might not be quite this fine, but, and as you can see, there's some uh, eggshells in there that have not broken up. Like I said, they take a lot longer. They're harder, they're full of calcium, and uh, just takes a lot longer for them to break up. Uh, so in about a month, I'm gonna, this will start shrinking. And um, it won't be this full. This All this stuff will start working together, and the, the little micronutrients and they'll start eating each other and breaking this down and it'll get smaller. Um, if you are, uh, if you notice that this, there's a lot of moisture around here, a lot of water drops, maybe it's too wet. So you just take the lid off and let it air out for the day and make sure you put it back on before, uh, before the end of the day. And if, it, if you think it's too dry, if you never see any water in there, then maybe it's too dry, you take that off again. Squirt a little water in there. I probably need to squirt a little water in there anyway. So that's it. And this is an experiment. You could make two or three of these and uh, you could put other materials in it. You know, you could throw some aluminum foil in there, see if that composts. You could, you could put, um, uh, you could just do strictly um, brown materials, see how long that would take to decompose. Uh, you could just, anything you wanted to, but date it and, um, and then be checking on it. Shake it around, kick it around, whatever you want to do. And I'm um, so happy that you could join me today for this. And I'm looking forward to talking with you, oh, I think it's next week, about starting seeds. Uh, so until then, uh, happy composting. Bye-bye.